Hi, it's Colleen Schmidt from Divination Counseling Service here today to present the sign of Gemini for July 2021. So if you're a Gemini sign, Gemini moon, Gemini ascendant, there could be a message here for you today. Before I begin, though, I want to take a moment for gratitude to thank you, first of all, for watching this video, but also to thank my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one. And if you would, like, share, comment, I'd really love to hear from you. So, with that said, we're going to be do looking at a Celtic block. We'll start with a cross. I pull three clarifiers, creating the block. We are, as always, using a Rider weight deck, the American version today. And when we're finished, we'll come back together. And we will look at the asteroid moving through the sign of Gemini in July of 2021. In order to pin those asteroids down, we're going to be using the new moon, July 9th, 2021. So with that said, let's take a jump and see what these cards look like. So we're back and we're going to allow the cards to choose our significator for us as always. So just taking one more shuffle here and playing with them for a little bit. So we're looking at Gemini for the month of July 2021. So as always, we're going to start with our three piles. There we go. And just see what they've chosen for us. So the first card chosen is the hanged man in reverse. Now, this is an interesting card because this card is one of, I want to say frustration. Okay, I'm going to start with that. And when we're looking at this, the hanged man right side up is a pause period because you're ending one cycle and moving into another. When it's upside down, there's a lot of frustration with moving out of that pause place and um, what that can mean. You almost get a sense that when the card is reversed, there's a sense of being too attached to things that it's time to let go of and it's time to move forward. So a lot of times there's uh, more of a being stuck quality with this card. So in July, you may understand a little bit more about that, feeling a bit stuck. Now, the uh, card that crosses that is that it is time to take the plunge. Isn't that something? So what crosses it is that you're being very encouraged, not just through these cards, but probably in life right now in July, to take the plunge, to move on, to have more faith, and to know that everything you need is there for you. So that's really interesting. You, Gemini, are being really encouraged to move on. The base, yeah, you are. Because it's been so darned stressful. And there could be an abuse of power that you've had to deal with. And so there's a lot here that is, again, encouraging you, just as these people are, to let it go move on. What's passing you is that you've not been getting what you should. That it's been one problem after another. That no sooner do you get something up and running that it falls apart on you. Or that somebody else pulls a rug out from under you as the cards have been indicating. Right side up, this is a, obviously a victory card. I like the readers who call it a yes card. Uh, not that this is no, I don't think that's what they're telling you here, but that this is not a victory for you. That's where you're coming from, that it's been a lot, I think, a lot of frustration and things not working out. What crowns you is that you're understanding now that these new beginnings that have begun for you are more trouble than there were. July is going to point this out to you, that 
things that are going on around you are more trouble than they're worth. This is the beginnings of success card. Though it's, it's stressful, it's very stressful, that new beginning, this is telling you that the new beginning is not worth it. It's not worth it at all. So Gemini, you are really being encouraged to move on from something. Not sure what it is. Yeah, what's in front of you is to co it continues to be decisions that do not work in your favor. You're not being considered in these decisions. That's what's going to make you look at your situation. That the justice is not coming up for you. What you bring to the position or the situation is that you've really done your homework. You really somebody who is in a strong position. And if this is a work environment, you would easily be able to score something better with this card. So you're bringing a lot of hard work, effort, and background into the situation. No wonder you don't feel appreciated. There we go. The card from the external, something you need to see. Opportunities will be presenting themselves. The outside influence is that there are opportunities coming. And again, right side up, don't cry over spilt milk. What's done is done. No regrets. Move on. Upside down, the opportunity to do that, to take, those, uh, take that bull by the horns and do exactly what you need to do. Move on. Hopes, fears, a little concern about money, feeling overextended, feeling like lack of opportunity could be that one is fearful of losing money or that they really need money or that there is maybe debts that have to be dealt with. So money being overextended is the hope, the fear. Okay, so and I'm going to go with a fear on that. The outcome is not an outcome because we don't do outcomes i'm going to be pulling three cards for that but for now it's telling you right side up foundation slave will bring desired results they will things will happen this is making the connection doing what needs to be done upside down is telling you that the opposite foundation slave have not brought desired results that for all that's going on you're overextending yourself but you're not really benefiting from that on any level. Something to really think about there, Gemini. Well, there is good news. Someone's going to show you a lot of attention and generosity. Now, hopefully it's not somebody who's manipulating you to keep you where you are, but I doubt it with that justice card. But there is going to be a lot of attention and generosity paid to you. With that comes a lot of happiness. This is happiness, not just, this could be receptions, this could be social engagements that are going on. Um, I think this would be really good for you. Get out, do something. That's awesome. Maybe it's a family thing, but it's just, it really looks good. There's a lot of happiness in that. So you're getting a lot of attention. You're getting, there's happiness around you. Now, when you get this card right side up, it's the opposite. You can see this; these people are not doing well. This is desolation. This is uh, wanting to give up and throw in the towel type. But upside down, it really is attention from other people. So you're doing really good there. The outcome, and I'm going to make you the major, is the star. And what they want you to know is what you've gone through and what you're going through is what's supposed to be. In other words, you may question is this what it's supposed to be? But this is what it's supposed to be. So you don't have to question it. Everything is as it should be. Even the path that you've been on that they're now asking you to move on from. So pretty good. So some things are going on for you in July. And you really need to pay attention and to really look at them. So I'm going to go and check out our asteroids. So we're back and I have my asteroid list handy. And uh, in Gemini, one of the first things that 
I see, and it's so interesting. I've been doing a couple of these today, and all of them, as soon as I go to the asteroids, they're like, boom. It's the reading all over again in, in just like the first couple asteroids. And the same is true for you. And one of the things it talks about is this whole idea of Adamitis, which is it's telling you, first of all, that you have the ability to really remain firm. But what it also means is that it is time to kind of consolidate, compress. It's also telling you that there could be delays and obstacles that you've been contending with and dealing with. Some, since that's very rather early in Gemini, um, I'm going to say that uh, for many Geminis, the way this is going to play out is that things for you will, it's like you have a good intuition and you, and you know how this road goes and you know what's on the road. But I'm going to be honest with you, you have no idea where the outcome is going to lead to because it will surprise you. It is not accurate in what you're thinking. So I'm, I can tell you that it's Pythia. And Pythia is, is kind of like looking at expectations and limitations and then having them kind of, kind of not be exactly what you thought. The uh, Phaethon uh, is also about vehicles. And one of the vehicles, now it could be that there are some real issues with cars or vehicles and that's a possibility. Uh, but what other things it could be is because Laplace falls right after it, is that it could be that people are using lies as a vehicle. Just be careful that's not you um, it, because you are taking a risk. So some of these could be you because you feel like you're under so much pressure that you are willing to take risks, which I think could be a good thing because it could be also what will encourage you to move on. From where you are. Hesphestus reminds us that you could be in a situation where you just don't seem to fit. Okay? This could even be partnerships where you're looking at odd couples or situations where you could be paired up to work with somebody that it's 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 an odd couple. It's very odd. So um, look for those odd couples. People could also be attracted to people who are very different than they are. So with Adam Meat, be careful. Uh, sleep could be another area where there could be some difficulties. It also refers to the fact that there could be messages coming in and it could be related to uh, finding things out over meals, meal times. Uh, could be related to mom. So mom might have news for you. Could be news you're giving your mom. It also talks about be careful because people tend to set themselves up as willing victims. And I, don't, I, I really feel like on some level you are coming to an awareness that perhaps you are somebody who has been setting yourself up as a willing victim and you really want to look at that. How other, you know, how you're dealing with other people's crap, I'm going to use that word because that's what they're using, and it's causing you a lot of turmoil, even pain. Now, it could be physical pain if you had a physical job, but this can also be emotional and mental. So look at that. Look at what other people are asking of you. And is it really worth it? Because maybe it is time to move on. I think you'll discover that this month, Gemini. With that said, thank you for watching the video. And if you would, like, share, comment. We'd love to hear from you. But in the interim, please be well. Be well. Take care, and until we meet again, as always, I wish you only 